Welcome back to Life is Strange. We're here to meet with Frank to pay him back the money that Chloe owes him, and also gather some information. But as always, before that, let's take a look around this beautiful place and just take in the sights, see if I can find any pictures, and gather some information. The forest seemed quiet. No sign of life. Or deer. Hello, organ nature lovers. Uh, I'm not sure how friendly this place is to nature lovers now, given that so many animals just seem to be dying off. I wonder how the other animals are doing. I know the birds are not doing well. But apparently the squirrels are okay. But I wonder about deer, bears, foxes, and snails. How are the snails doing? What about the snails? Nobody ever thinks of the snails. Now, I know there's a photo opportunity for the whales. But there could be others here, too. Let's take a quick look. Yeah, definitely a photo for a whale. Also a skeleton, which is probably at the school. Um, something with a bird. And something with a windmill. And of course, we can't forget the Pringle. T taped to the bars. Nope, I don't want to go there. You don't? You don't? You don't want to go on the beach? I mean, I guess it is filled with dead whales, that's kind of depressing. But I want to go on the beach. Fine. Always have to do what Max wants. There might not be any Pan Estates by Saturday. Stop Pan Estates. Oh, so somebody's actually trying to stop it from being built. Thanks to local industry, the shores of Arcadia Bay are now unfit for fish, birds, and even whales. It's time to stop the Panacea's development that is leading to the destruction of jobs, lives, and resources. Join the peaceful protest, protest of the Panacea HQ. Doubt that's going to do much, unfortunately. 15 minute hike to the lighthouse up there. This is where my nightmare started. How can all of this not be connected to a major storm? I wonder what they're going to do with the whales. Just... let them rot? I mean, those corpses, they're going to stay there for a long time. There's thousands and thousands of pounds of just stuff there, and it's going to take so long for that to, to go away. Unless at some point it's just going to get carried away to sea, maybe? High tide or something? I don't know. No worries, sign. Yeah, I don't think anybody's going to be here for sightseeing anymore. Probably just for study. To study what's happening. Aw, oh, poor little beach ball. Alright, somewhere here's a picture opportunity. Is it with this one? Here we go. That's a good picture. Depressing, but good. blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. Behold, Frank's beer garden. <laughs> Don't think anything's gonna grow in it. Take the trash out sometime, dude. What do you mean, Max? He did take the trash out. He took it outside and leaned it up against a rock. This is where Frank ponders his existence, and gets drunk.
Hey, at least his uh, little beach launcher there has a floral pattern. He's got some style. Nope, I don't want to go there. Yes, I do. Good thing there are no actual cops around to bust us. Due to recent coastal events, the Arcadia Bay City Council has closed the beaches to any wading, surfing, or swimming. That's a good idea. That, that's a very good idea. I may not know quantum speak, but there has to be an explanation. Yeah, until you can explain why all these whales died. I wouldn't want anybody to swim in that water. I'd be worried there was some sort of, like, poison or something. I mean, that probably doesn't make much sense, but still. I don't think Frank listened to my cleaning advice. It's not funny anyway. Can't see inside with this shit blocking the view. Oh, fresh meat. So Pompidou must be okay. Good doggy. Where is Pompidou? Inside? Figured if he was inside, though, we would have heard him bark. Maybe Frank took him for a walk? Chloe looks ready to rumble. Oh, Frank's here. So where's oh, the dog? Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, or bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I can choose to keep the money? I mean, that's a big reason we came here, is to pay it. Why would I want to keep it? No, just, just give him the money. Oh, I thank you. That wasn't so hard now, was it? And let's not do any more business again. Now, if you excuse me. Frank? Could we ask you a couple quick questions? You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Yeah, how exactly am I going to convince him to give me this information? Uh... I think I'm going to have to do some rewinding here. Alright, let's test the waters. You already did. Ah, oh, you fucking mental. I lost my keys, but I changed the lock. You better goddamn not be snooping around here. No, no, I'm not. I... I... Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell shits. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I... I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, alright? 
You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. Hmm? And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Yeah, dogs are cool. In fact, I gave your dog a bone. Chloe and I gave your doggy a bone when we... So you're the ones who let him out? <laughs> you God. broke in here and let my dog out? <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, Maybe I should rewind. What... Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. We're only here to find Rachel. Rachel isn't in here! And I'll spin you on your ass. What the fuck are you dorks up to, huh? Trying to break into my business? This time, the price is wrong, skank! Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Not ever tell me what to do. Whoa! Whoa! Get off of me! Motherfucker! <laughs> okay, yeah, it's time to rewind. I have to rewind now. Come on. Come on. Wait, did I go too far back? Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Okay, this is going differently than I thought. So it's not just that one dialogue option that I'm changing, but I'm actually directing her. Um... Be careful. <laughs> that's not... that. that's too general. No, watch your mouth. Let's make sure he doesn't know that we were the ones that let Pompidou out. Please watch your mouth. You have no social skills here, and you will piss off Frank immediately. You kind of love this, don't you? Fine, I'll try being like you for a change. Or how you used to be. Just be a social butterfly, right? Pun intended. All right, give him the money. Oh, wait, what? Huh? C can can I go back? What am I? I don't remember these choices before. No weapons. No. F uh, no weapons. <sighs> Frank, um, after our last meeting, I don't want any weapons involved. Could you? Put your knife or whatever in the RV until we're done talking. After you pulled a fucking gun on me, you want to negotiate my safety? I didn't trust you before, and now I do less. By the way, never tell me what to do in my home. Maybe I don't have a fancy Arcadia Bay house, but this is my turf. Got it? You're goddamn lucky you paid me back. So what do you want? Just the names of some of your- Oh, is that all? Oh! <laughs> Alright. Well, saying you already did looked like it went really badly, but then it seemed to work. So I guess I'll do it again? You already. Ah, oh, you f. No, no, I. Oh, crap. Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. You snobby whores. Don't come into my home and judge me. Wait, this That's is different. That's why I go to church. And you want something from me? How about a blade up the ass, huh? Calm down, Frank. Oh, that... Did it again. I guess I have to go all the way back again? Listen, Chloe. I. No, I don't know if I did have to go all the way back. But alright, let's try this. You kind of. Give the money, of course. Alright, this time let's not tell him what to do. Close the door. What is. No, do we... I don't want to tell him what to do. Telling him to close the door wouldn't be good either. Let's just say let's not fight. Thanks for hearing me out, Frank. 
Look, we only want to talk, and it's not even about you. We're not here to start a fight. No, that shit would be over pretty fast. Don't fuck with me, and I won't return the favor. All right, that's so good. So what do you want? That worked. Just the names of... Oh, is that... All right, you already did seems to be the bad option. Help or else, that doesn't seem right. I guess just apologize? Let's try that. Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. All right, that, that worked too. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that. Don't you? Come on, Frank. This isn't about me now. Yeah, right. Okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to. All right. So this oh, is. Oh yeah, you didn't before. come. I. Fine. I. I. Dude, she was scared. All. We're cool for now. Your dog We're is only... it? Mm -hmm. Shit, you. All right. Let's. This time, let's not say that I gave the dog a bone. Um. Let's just say that Pompadour is cute. I don't know if he would like that. Maybe he thinks of Pompadour as, like, badass rather than cute. Um. But let's go with that. Oh, Pompadour is so cute. The only way you know my dog's name is if you broke into my RV. Son of That's a- That's how we got out. You did it, are you crazy? That's my dog! Wait! That Seriously, Frank, don't- Did that just- Mess up- AGAIN?! Alright, I don't have to go all the way back, right? Right? Can I just, like, stop, like, here? I have to go all the way back, don't I? Yeah, you have to go all the way back. You gotta go to the next, like, dialogue node, which is all the way back to the start of the conversation! <gasps> oh, this is tedious. I don't like this anymore. Alright, come on. Listen. At least I know all the right options. Alright, watch your mouth. You can Alright, gave the dog a bone. No, Pompadour was cute. I should know its name. Dog Rescue. Is that to mention the fact that he was involved with dog rescuing? Which we... Maybe shouldn't know, I don't remember. Uh, Train to Kill? Let's go with Train to Kill. I don't care about dogs trained to kill or fight. That's animal abuse. Wait, what? That you think I abuse my own dog? I didn't know that's what I was going to say. I rescued Papadou, you Fuck. asshole. I don't. Oh. Wait, that's not what. Seriously. I, I chose literally every single wrong option there before choosing the right one. Son of a. Mm. All right. I'm gonna do this again, and I'll be right back. <sighs> Okay, let's choose the right option this time, which is the top option, Dog Rescue. You know, the bottom one that says Train to Kill, I didn't think that was going to accuse him of animal abuse. I thought what Max was going to say after he said, do you like dogs? I thought Train to Kill would say, have Max say something like, uh, like, I know your dog can kick my ass, so I respect them or something, you know? Something like, I know what your dog can do, so I'm not going to mess with you or, or something. I didn't think she would just... Uh, accuse him of abusing his animal. So, yeah. Let's go dog rescue. Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes. We're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Alright, well here's more dialogue options for me to screw up and have to redo the entire conversation, so let's be careful. Hmm. Alright, so I get the impression I don't want to tell him anything that hints him off to the fact that we were inside of his place. You know Rachel. 
Mm. Rachel's letter. I don't want to mention the letter. Bracelet. I don't think I want to mention that. Uh... It's one of the... It's either what are you hiding or you know Rachel. You know Rachel? Please don't make me redo the conversation. Frank, you knew Rachel almost better than anybody. And you know more than us. Together we could find her. Do you have anything to lose? When Rachel vanished, I pretty much lost everything. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell, you two dorks can find Rachel. Yeah, I'll take it. Thank God. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. Whew. That was cool Frank gave up the code to help us. Rachel must have seen something good in him. Things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. A message from Frank. Wow, it's actually something positive. Hi, Max. Just thought I'd wish you and Chloe good luck for your search, with what little luck I have left. Thanks, Frank. The bigger our team, the more luck we have. I see why Chloe digs you. Stop by later if you both want to party, and good luck. Uh, yeah, Frank. I don't feel like partying right now. Thank you for the offer, though. It's like from Joyce. Max, now that David is not here, I need Chloe to step up and stop acting out so much. But that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in illegal crap like breaking into Blackwell at night. I know it happened, so don't bother to, to defend or explain. I hoped you would get her back on the right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. You could be such a good influence on her. Unless you both want to play bad. But you can't keep blaming David now. Sorry, Joyce. Even I get into shenanigans. But I'm trying to be a good influence on Chloe. I know, Max. I forget you're still teenage adults. Alright, let's see if we can tie anything together. Gather info on a character by selecting all the correct clues. For each section, there is a specific number of clues to select. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Alright. So would that be this? Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. Alright, so is there a key to decrypt it? Frank is for sure the local dealer, but... I, I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him. Right? Hmm. 
David Matson and Nathan Prescott have both come to my office to warn me that Rachel Amber has been a drug mule, acting as a front for another local dealer. Considering Rachel's exemplary status, I told David that I would need more concrete proof, and he promised he had more to show. Maybe Rachel took a road trip with Frank, but she did come back. So weird how close they were. But Frank couldn't keep Rachel. Or protect her. There's no doubt she loved him in some way. It's Rachel's love letter. Or wait, it wasn't a love letter, was it? Sorry about last night, I was being a monster bitch. There's a lot of issues going on in my life. Well, yeah, kind of a love letter. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. Oh, this must be the code for Frank's book, right? Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. This is kind of fun. I like this. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. He sold cocaine. Lone, firebud, midshelf bud, acid, top shelf shake. What the hell is shake? Shrooms. God, he deals in everything. Bulldog 3000 loan. Was that Chloe? Is Chloe Bulldog? Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. That explains a lot. <laughs> oh, there's one in here for a uh, stray dog. Yeah, stray dog, diner, flower, 70. Flower, that's gotta be cocaine, right? If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? I just love how ridic ridiculous some of this sounds. Chihuahua, gas station, one fourth pound green dream. <laughs> so he sold a fourth of a pound of green dream to a chihuahua at a gas station. Cool. I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. Hmm. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. Wait, which one was Nathan? Which which name? Whoops. Okay, Max. Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Rot. Alright, so yeah, rot. Was this the one where Nathan made two deals in one day? Hmm, I don't see rot. Or was it this one? Yeah, there's rot, Blackwell, Firebud. Jesus, Firebud, speed, and cocaine, $900. Yep, and there's Rot at the bottom too, and yep, they're on the same day. Boondocks, 5 grams, GHB, 250 bucks. Alright, so I want to find all the ones where Rot is mentioned, right? Not there. Oh, there we go. Some acid. At the beach, cocaine. At the beach, Molly, as well. And this was, I think, like, three days after his other purchases. So let's select that and that. Nothing there. Those clues whoops. are not related. Whoop, whoops, didn't mean to select that. 
Nothing there. Nope, I didn't mean to select oh, yes. that either, but it worked. <laughs> These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Alright, so we've got some clues there, but I guess we need to process the rest of them to actually pull it all together. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. Yes, 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 yes. Right, the coordinates, all right. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. Oh, well, I'm sure he does, and he has dates and times there, too. And there's dates for, uh, for 10 slash 4, which was one of the times that the drug deals took place, as well as 10 slash 7, which I believe is when the other drug deals, some of the other drug deals took place. So maybe he was tracking Nathan. We're probably going to need that, so I'm just going to pre-select it, I guess. Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. Just going to skim through these, David see if anything jumps out. David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. Does David know what's going on with Rachel, or is he just paranoid about everybody? Right, that's the incident report. Rachel Amber picked up at Blackwell Academy for possession of a controlled substance. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. Oh, wait a minute. The license plate. Twilight Zone. Isn't that what it says at the top here? Oh no, Twin Peaks. Hmm. You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. Of course, I'm a suspect. <laughs> Proving David sucks as a detective. Sorry. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. Not entirely sure how to put these together. Maybe the license plate and the coordinates? And the photo? No. Well, hmm. I mean, I think the truck is in the photo, like a tiny part of it. And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Wait, did that work? Oh. I, I guess it did. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Uh, Twin Peaks. Looking for Twin Peaks. Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. That's definitely Chloe's car. Chloe's car? Oh, so then the tracking coordinates are from... Chloe. Yep. Another car David was tracking. Alright, Twin Peaks. Hmm. <sighs> Who else was David tracking here? Yeah, so let's find which one is Nathan. Which one actually has him and his license plate in it? There's Nathan dealing to the kids right out in the open. <laughs> Maybe I should have let Warren beat Nathan's ass down. Just this once. Hmm. Who does this car belong to? What does that license plate... What is that license plate short for? Uh, sex for Tinder? Six for Tinder? What is that supposed to be? I have no idea. Wow, sir. This looks like an expensive machine. Oh, well then that might be Nathan's, or maybe his father. I don't know what that license plate means either. Tip for Volk? Don't you love it when license plates... Like, someone's like, I'm gonna fit a short story into my license plate. Each letter represents the beginning letter in each paragraph of my short novella. And they, like, expect people to just look at the license plate and know what it is. Like, how are you supposed to know what that is? Hey, 
Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? Twilight Zone. I don't feel like Nathan's car would actually... That's too nerdy for Nathan's car, isn't it? I mean, that that's Nathan, right? So he has a red truck, but then aren't there multiple red trucks? Twilight Zone, and then six for Tinder. Oh, but wait a minute, this one's got... Oh yeah, look at the back. It's got uh, tape on the light on the back in this picture. And this one does not have tape. This one does. So it's six for Tinder. And then which one Why is that? Why the one? hell are you following these people? Here we go. And to where? Oh yes, now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Alright, alright, we're going places. This is really cool. Lex, I know we can snap all these pieces together. Roger that. I'm gonna study the board and try to connect all these dots. Like, this is, this is really, really cool. I feel like a detective. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? There's a lot of numbers in here. So am I looking for a password to unlock it? Oh, there has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. 1111? <laughs> Alright, let's try it. Uh, you don't... Don't, don't feel like trying it? All right, cool, cool, cool. Oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Disciplinary warning report. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Prescott, we regret to inform you that Nathan Prescott has disrupted various classes over the past month despite repeated warnings and leniency. Due to a crude outburst in Mrs. Hoida's intro to literature class on Tuesday, September 20th, Nathan was sent back to his dormitory for the day without a proper write-up for his files. Nathan has enormous potential, but also erratic behavior patterns that may need supervision beyond Blackwell's ability. The school cannot tolerate these disruptions, so we hope you will discuss this matter with Nathan to impress upon him the severity of the situation. Good. Something was kind of happening. Although... Whoops. Although I did mention... that... He did not get a proper write-up for his files, so basically it was a slap on the wrist. And keep everything on the hush-hush. So, nothing was really happening there. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. There's a lot of numbers there. 0058-9988542? Some seriously scraggly writing there. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? If there is a oh dark my God. room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. Dark room. That's right, that's the name of this episode. Um, alright, so, like... I'm just trying to unlock his phone, right? I've got the phone selected, plus these two things that have numbers on them. Do I want this too? Okay, Max. Let's blow this code up and go home. Let's start hacking. Alright, so now we actually do it. Do I actually get to enter it myself? Oh god, I do. Um. 
I might want to switch to the mouse for this. Instead of using the controller like I normally do. Can I just type it in? I can't actually type it in on the keyboard. Seriously? Hmm. Well, I'm going to use the mouse anyway. So, 1111. One, one, one. Oops. Bad code. Okay, um, actually maybe I'm going to use a controller because I don't really know how to use <laughs> the mouse to do stuff. So it's not that. It's only four digits, so it's got to be a four digit number. Zero, zero I, I guess let's just start going, so one, 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 check off, zero, zero, five, eight, three, nine, eight, eight, nine, five, eight. Three five four four three six five four three one. Let's try them all. Use the mouse for this. Uh, zero zero five eight. Yeah, nope. I knew it wouldn't be that easy. All right, cross that one off. Three nine eight eight. You locked it, dumbass. Wrong code. Cluck you. And you made me say that. Oh, wait a minute. Is this what I'm supposed to do? <laughs> Puck you. <laughs> Sorry, they just caught up with me. But yeah, is this what I'm supposed to do? Because isn't there the puck code right here? Yeah, so maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Alright. 87897808. Oh, that's a lot of eights. Eight seven. Eight nine. Whoops. Seven eight. Zero eight. Oh yeah. Let's find out what Nathan Prescott has been trying to hide. What up need the G? I'm guessing that's hmm. A gun? Or drugs? Okay, cool bitch, you sold me water, asshole. <laughs> Calm down, bring it to me, bring it in. Stay away, pigs on the beach. Well, Nathan's up to no good, of course, selling drugs and stuff. Yes. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Yep, he's hooking people up. <sighs> Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Alright, so it looks like he charged double to make a house call. Drug dealer drama. Or, wait a minute, which side is Nathan? Is Nathan on the right? It, it's Nathan on the right, isn't it? Yeah, it must be. Wants to buy acid. God, Nathan. You're out of control. Yeah, Jesus. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. Was that the message that was on Max's phone a long time ago? Could I go back in my messages and find this? I probably could. No, Nathan. It's time for you to watch out. Asshole. Oh yeah, I remember this one. Yeah, hey, horror feminists will be exterminated. Watch out. Fucking prick. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Please don't contact me at work. I've told you this before, and being high is not an excuse anymore. This is a business, not just a hobby. You want me to treat you like an adult who can get things done on his own? Impress me. I'd like nothing more than to be proud of you. I'm not there yet. Make an appointment. Submit an application for my... impression. Submit an impression application. And I'll process it within six to eight weeks. 
And of course, there's a processing fee of $200. Well, not that the money would mean anything to him. A message from Nathan. <laughs> really? Pussies can't fucking fight. Nice spelling, bro. Bruh. Take right. a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Alright, so that's all the clues. Let's put it all together. <sighs> okay. Mm, where do I start? Let's just start looking at stuff. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? That beach is like Frank's main office. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. <laughs> Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So he could be hiding clues there too. Not much out there. Ooh. Ooh, wait a minute. I'm making a connection here, not because of any clue that's been given to me or that's on this board, but one of the picture opportunities that I saw was something about a windmill, and this looks like a barn. So I feel like that might be a place that would have a windmill next to it, so I'm going to say that's a pretty good choice there. I think that might be it. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. <sighs> Poor rich Nathan. If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, she would fry his ass. All right, I'm just going to, yeah, select the barn. I have a feeling that's it. So let's find a location that matches. Beach, that's not it. Blackwell, nope. Blackwell. Beach. Blackwell, so it's got to be this one. Boondocks. And what did he sell? 250 bucks. Five grams. G GHB. All right, now, now I've got to match up the dates, right? So let's see, when was this? 10 slash 4. 10 slash 7. 10 slash 7. 10 slash 4. Any other 10 slash 4s? Yep, there's another one. He just score ASAP. Might be that one. Let's go with that. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Is it the Prescotts? Somebody named Harry Aaron... <laughs> of course Prescott. it's the Prescotts. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody. Except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Holy shit, this is scary. 
I know. But we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to find out what is inside of this barn.